Jared, why does he keep saying that? You're his top economic, you're the head of the Council of Economic Advisors. Do you ever whisper in his ear, Mr. President, just to be technical about it, it wasn't 9% when you assumed office, it was 1.4%. It got as high as 9% in 2022. You brought it down from that, but it was never, ever, ever 9% when you came into office. So why does he keep saying that? Well, first of all, let me point out that in that very quote you played, the president talked about how concerned he was uh, for households uh, struggling with prices that he consistently That's not what I asked you. That's high. not what I asked okay, you. So Why does he keep misrepresenting okay. this? He's making the point uh, that the factors that caused inflation to climb to 9% were in place when he took office. No, I think that's it was not by... what he said. He said it was at 9%. It would eventually so get the... to 9% a little over a year after that. But the fact of well, the that's... matter is it wasn't 9%. So if I can't trust him quoting data in real time, why should I believe what he's talking about now? So the annual uh, growth in core inflation in the second quarter of 21 uh, was, in fact, about 9 percent. And his point about inflation down 60 percent off its peak is very much the case. So no, look, it wasn't. It was, uh, not at, it was not at that. So you're, you're almost as bad as he is. Why can't you just say it was high, it got as high as 9 percent? You'd be accurate in saying that. And we have now brought it down and we're struggling in around the 3 percent area. But it's better than it was. But instead, to hang Listen, it on I, his predecessor, I, I, to hang it on his predecessor I, I, that you inherited something that was through the roof when we were in the middle of COVID, it just seems to the American people, so, well, whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, hold, hold you're on, lying. Yeah. You're just lying. Well, hold on. I hear you. I hear you. Uh, I, the, the president was making the point that I think is unequivocally true. The factors that uh, took inflation to nine percent were in place when he took that office. That is, is not what global- he said, Jared. And you're a very smart guy with this stuff. You could just whisper. He's a good friend of yours, obviously, thinks the world of you. Many others do as well. You could have just told him, Chief, I got to tell you, Mr. President, whatever you say, you might even call him Joe. That's how close you are. And just say, sir, it was not 9%. Stop it with the 9% because the more you say that, the more people don't believe what you're saying. Look, I think what the American people care most about is the fact that inflation, inflation, truth, Jared. Hold on, Neil. Neil, this only works if you let me talk. Okay? you have an answer to my question? I've asked it five times, five five ways. The, the, the president was making the point that the factors that caused inflation were in place when he took office. And that's unequivocally oh, true. Right. I take your point, And we can have uh, we can we can go on all day back and forth on this.